In this video, I'm spending 100 days in single player Minecraft Pixelmon. I've got five main goals to complete. The first is to capture as many legendaries as I can, with Zekrom and Rayquaza being the main two. I have to capture eight Eevees and then evolve them all into the eight different evolutions. The third challenge is to beat a Mega Boss. The fourth challenge is to Mega Evolve my starter. And the final challenge is to beat a Gym. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go on with the video. So I chose to start my adventure with Snivy and we did the usual. We went straight to looting the little village that we spawn into. And also, you can't go on an adventure without a PC. Now the best thing about the shopkeeper, I don't know if you guys knew. You go upstairs, you have so much loot, you don't even have to pay for it. Granted, it is their storage area. But, I mean, technically there's no Iron Golem to guard it, so it's all mine. Okay, so next time you play, make sure you do the same. Once I'd finished all that, I decided to go and try and level up Snivy. This took 24 turns to kill a level 19 Magikarp. Bear in mind, I'm level 5. And uh, let's just say the XP reward was not what I was expecting. First, somehow a Magikarp has Tackle. I didn't understand. It grew one level. I thought it was going to grow, like, multiple. So I then decided to just continue to just take out the rest of the core fish clan. And um, I then got a bit uh, brave, took on an Aracudo and, and, and died, as you guys just saw. But uh, thankfully, I came across this. First, I just thought it was going to be a ship. I had no idea what that was. I thought it was just placed on top of the mountain. And then it, it turned into like some massive sea world. Now, the best thing about it, there's so much loot. Genuinely, every house has chests. You can just grab a few more potions, some revives. There's some shopkeepers that sell you some weird stuff, but I wasn't really bothered. But when I went into this chest, it, it gave me a good rod. I know a super rod is the main one, but basically it's a water gym. I wasn't too impressed. It got a bit boring. So we just set on with the adventure. So I found the land where Charmanders can spawn, but... To my surprise, there was literally a legendary Mega Steelix boss. Now, when I was playing, I didn't understand what it was. I had to check for myself, and I think it was shiny as well. But then we decided to just move on and get a Zubat as our second Pokemon, whilst also getting some revenge on the Aracudas for what they did to me earlier. Now, I was able to find a few Master Ball spots, but they didn't really give me anything great. And I then challenged a Whalmer trainer who just eliminated my Snivy, and I just had to run away as fast as I could. But we then found a big Magikarp head, and the best thing about it, there was Aqua Armor. So I'm pretty sure it means I can breathe underwater. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, I've stolen a lot in Pokemon, but it's fine. We'll forget about it. Now, I guess all the stealing came back to me as I almost died in lava. So the bad karma finally caught up to me. But I mean, it continued because you can see I've opened quite a few of these Master Ball loots in the desert and I've got nothing. Power bands, random stuff. Some of you might get angry at me for it, but it doesn't matter. But... We were able to find this Growlithe. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a... Is it Hisuian Growlithe? I'm not sure. I don't remember. But we got it. Oh, no. Galar... No, I don't know, actually. We caught it anyway because it looked cool. I came across another one of these temples. I just didn't want to go through it. But then I came across this. Three-star Vaporeon Raid. And it could help me complete one challenge. But, uh, yeah, it, it just... It, it exploded. So, we couldn't do that. And this is the scariest part. So, yeah. That. What? Giraffe Rig. This was about 1 a.m. at night just happily capturing a shinx it came out of nowhere on the side of my screen and it chased me through a desert i don't know why it just wanted to be next to me or just wanted to attack me i don't know not shortly after this was the moment i believed my luck would change there was just a Ryolu chilling on the mountain we of course had to capture it because the lucario would be amazing but then i decided to do this uh, yeah, three and a half hearts. I, I, I don't know why I risk my life. I just do it. Now, as I said, my luck was turning around. This Latias decides to spawn in the middle of the ocean. Like, I can't even reach it. I can't even do anything to get to it. But it's just there to annoy me. So my luck sort of turned around, sort of hasn't. But we move on to this. As you guys can see, it's a tal... Oh, no, Fletching... Uh, Fletchling. I don't know why I can't say that. But you guys know... If you've seen my previous ones, I love Talonflame. He's my favorite flying fire. Like, the mix is really good. So, I, of course, had to get that into the team. And we moved on to a Mesa Biome because I know Flareon spawns. But I was wondering what that was. And then from behind the rocks, we just have a Bagon appear, which is basically the devolved form of a Salamence. We had to capture that. But this area was amazing. I don't know if any of you guys know Gen 8. There's also some, some Gen 8 Pokemon here. Now, I think it's called Charkadect. Char I, I think Charkadect, something like that. There was one just chilling here. So I had to just go for it. I know it's just a fire and our team is very fire based right now. So I don't know which one I'm going to keep and which one I'm not going to keep. But we'll figure that out. The Mesa Biome was massive and it had another one of these villages. They're usually just gym villages. It's not bad. I mean, we can't challenge anything yet, but at least we know where one is. One of the houses gave us a covered fossil, but the best thing happens when we leave. There is another Mega Boss and you won't get which one 
it's just another legendary Steelix. I don't know why it's chilling. But then I turn around and I view arguably the strongest starter Pokemon. Charmander, which you guys know we have to get. I'm trying to think if I've ever kept a Char uh, Charizard in my team. I think I have once, but it's going to be another great addition, so we're going to keep it. I moved on with the adventure, and I found this floating ship. Now, if you guys have seen my previous videos, you'll know exactly what that ship is, because I did something amazing on there. But it was floating, so we had to gather some blocks quickly. We went up and we built a cross. And inside, there's actually quite a good amount of loot. There's a lot of plasma gear. So if you want to become a full team plasma member, there was also a lot of just general loot. So I got an amethyst pickaxe. And then there was items for Pokemon to hold. Like that one boosts electric attacks. But then the main one came from this chest with a relic crown. You guys know they sell for so much money. I think those were basically how i got all my loot from last videos and of course we needed a ruby pickaxe that was pretty much all the plane had to, well the ship had to offer so we then moved on and i was able to find this like ice village so i could actually sell some of the things that i brought like the the relic crown and i think they sell for a bit less this one when i went on there i think it was fifty thousand coins of course we sold relic silver and copper which you got from there as well but yeah fifty thousand. i'm pretty sure that's a lot less than it used to be there was actually an active den on outside which we of course wanted to do it was a sneezer one two star one they give us xp candies which is good i can't find rare candies right now so xp candy m we give to charmander and this actually led to him learning a new move fire fang his moves were kind of horrible at the moment but we will work on that and that led to our first evolution i'm pretty sure it's our first evolution i don't think we've had another pokemon evolve but that means we now have a charmeleon which is amazing continuing on by venturing into the Icelands, you can find these these big candy canes which lead to these trees which give you so much rare candy now people are going to say i'm cheating because they're going to say how did I get so many? I won't show you guys all of them, but I have all the footage if anyone wants to say that I am cheating. But basically, we found so many. And as I was coming up to this last tree, in the distance, there's actually more. So once I've got all the trees and the rare candies, I'll get back to you guys and you guys can see how many I actually found from this place. It's actually so overpowered. So once I had enough rare candies, I wanted to give them all to Charmeleon just so that I could have a Pokemon to fly on because Charizard is such a beast. Initially, it was going to be Talonflame, but who chooses Talonflame over a Charizard? Once we were down to his last level i made sure to find a nice open place so we could see the full transformation into this big boy and then he even wanted to learn a new move i think it was air slash yes so then we took off normal slash for that and here is charizard in all his glory and now we can also find some more trees with rare candies just by flying on him makes everything easier a few rare candies richer i decided to give them to snivy who would then evolve into a servine meaning we're one step closer to mega evolving our starter we then moved on to Raiolu, who has to be leveled up during the day to increase his happiness so that we could evolve him into a Lucario. That's going to take a long time. I already know that. So I decided to continue on with our adventure and we came across a den which then had a boss Beedro next to it. This whole time, I thought it was just a normal boss, but towards the end, we see it actually wasn't. So I went into this thinking I would easily do this. Charizard did well to tank a hit. I know he can do damage, as you guys can see. Nia did half damage, but then he fainted, so I had to use some sacrificial Pokemon. We started with Fletchling and basically just revived Charizard. I know he wouldn't survive that first hit, so I then had to use, I think it was Zubat as another sacrificial Pokemon just to give Charizard a HP potion. Later on in the fight, many turns later, I used Dragon Breath. So Beedrill was actually paralyzed, which meant Charizard could actually finish the battle. And here we see we get a Phytinium Z from this boss, but then there's also Beedrillite. So this wasn't just a normal boss, it was a mega boss, which means we've completed another challenge, which I did not believe. After the mega battle, I went back to the den, which was a three-star poor me raid. And honestly, the rewards are just not that great, so I just left them all. And then I waited in this forest because Togekiss can spawn in the mornings, but we then came across this Earth Ring. He's a big tank as well. So of course I went to capturing, he was level 42, which meant I didn't have to do a lot of leveling. We got him, added him straight into our party and flew straight past this Urshifu tower. Into to this Magnemite den. I do want a Kubfu, so Urshifu could be on the cards maybe sometime, but I'm not sure. Three-star Magnemite one was also terrible. It gave me a big nugget. I really don't want that. Then we found the source book one. It was a four-star raid, and it just exploded. Like, what do you want me to do? I can't do anything when they do that, and we were gonna take it out and get some good rewards. I then found another ice biome, yes, with more rare candy trees, so I rounded as many as I could, then headed for these buildings. Now, I explored the chest, thought there was nothing in them, until I found these two, so obviously the rest of them in the house probably 
had rare candies as well. Now, there's two sets on each side, and then there's also another building. Of course, I'm going to get loads of rare candies, and it was actually Santa's workshop. I mean, who could say no to free rare candies from Santa? After being blessed by Santa, I came across this gym village, so I wanted to try out the gym. I just leveled Servine up so that he could evolve into a superior. He had a few moves. I gave him, like, Mega Drain. Uh, Coil, I just, I didn't want it, but he evolved into a Servine, which was pretty cool, and the rest of my team also needed to be higher levels, so I gave a lot more to Ryolu. He didn't evolve yet, which is fine, and then the rest to Charizard and Servine, because those two are going to be my main hitters, and then we'll see what happens when we fight the gym. With all the rare candies I'd just given my team, I was confident I would beat this gym with ease. Trevenant was taken out easily by my Charizard, and then I forgot that Ludicolo is a water grass type Pokemon, who absolutely one-shot my Charizard. I thought nothing of it. I thought, okay, Superior might be able to do something here, but no, Superior was not quick enough, and actually was one-shot himself as well. Now, to cut a long story short, Ursaring was one-shot, so was Ryolu, so I had to do what any person would do and run away from the gym. Now, I won't lie, I was a bit scared after that defeat to the gym, so I decided, you know what, we're going Master Ball hunting, because I want to capture a Legendary to absolutely destroy those gyms. Now, we were very unlucky until we got an XP share. We still need an XP all, and I know people hate me for doing this, but there's your Silver Bottle Cap laying on the floor. If you want to fight me, fight me in the comments. But, we found a Desert Temple which actually had a Relic Vase in. Strangely enough, they only sell for 10,000 now, which is not too good for me. So, I found another big sea city and I thought it would be a good idea to take on the water gym to save you guys the story that's how it ended I had to run away with my Charizard basically fainted further exploration meant we found more candy cane and Christmas trees and oh my god look at the amount of rare candies we have at the end of this it, you guys will think I'm cheating I have all the footage we have two stacks I don't know how they are so overpowered so you can find a bag in a TCG shop in a village okay so that's what we're gonna do because we need some more storage in our inventory so when we find a village, we just look for the TCG pot. Uh, now, that looks really cool. We've already explored one. And they do give some good stuff. So we might as well go for it again. An elytra. Oh my god. Wow. We were just talking about a Pokemon. <laughs> Oh my god, that's perfect. Wow, okay, so we're actually set now. So, that's pretty good. Let's see if there's any more, though. There might be another Pokeball. Well, there wasn't anything else on that ship that was useful, but I did find this raid den, which was an Archeops five-star raid den. And I know if we needed to beat that, we had to have very high-level Pokemon. So, we went again to leveling up Charizard, Ryolu, who actually started to evolve here. So, I now need a Mega uh, Lucario. I need to beat one so that I can actually Mega evolve my Lucario, which will be amazing. But he's going to be a very big hitter now. He also learned Aura Sphere, which we did get rid of Rock Smash for. Servine also got a few more levels, and I think the main aim was get Charizard the highest. We then did Lucario and Superior to level 63. So we started this Archeops raid. It's always good. Charizard does a lot of damage. I don't even think he fainted once. They have that Dynamax thing on top. He had four for Archeops. Uh, I have sped this up. If you guys prefer it slower, where you want me to go for it a lot more, let me know in the comments, but I, I like this one because it gets through it quicker. We get more uh, things done in the video. So I use Dragon Breath, and it's a really good move. It actually paralyzed Archeops for a bit. Then we went back to Flamethrower. He got four Dynamax again. We had to run through that. And finally, we were able to take him out. I think Charizard got the last blow, I'm pretty sure. It said super effective, so I'm pretty sure. And honestly, it's it's useless stuff. It was a gold bottle cap, which was the best thing. I tried to capture it because it would have been very cool, but we couldn't get it in the end. So I guess that's one missed opportunity for a rare Pokemon. Using this Charizard is so good good because I literally found the place where you summon Arceus after completing all the challenges. Then I was able to find leftovers which I gave to Superior and we then came across this like weird like factory village place in the savannas. I thought this mart would be something cooler than what it was. It was basically a normal shop until I left and noticed in the windows they had armor stands just chilling. I thought that would be really cool especially the end one here but it's literally just like remodeled leather tunics which really was a bit annoying now here i was afk i wasn't playing i was literally afk because i had to go get something and a verizion spawned so uh, you see i come back there check the chat to see if anything has spawned and i was so shocked i just didn't know what to do and remember my charizard is level 75 i forgot that verizion is here and five levels below so i used uh 
flamethrower or flare blitz sorry i think i meant to use flamethrower and i accidentally took it out i don't know how but i just keep doing that to verizions if you guys have seen other videos i've done the same thing so i stayed in the birch forest to try and capture evies and we finally found one until i was rudely interrupted by this fur fruit but we got into the fight with it and we actually captured it we just need to capture the rest now which is going to take a long time but at least we found one so we know that they can spawn they're not too difficult i don't know what these particle effects are on me but it's a waiting game basically and i think the sun's about to set so they might not even spawn anymore so we can just fly away and explore the rest of oh pikachu okay that is so cool as well Okay, we caught the Pikachu as well. That's sick. That's so good. Okay, I can actually keep that in my team as well. Imagine this is what Ash does when he goes in his Pokemon Center journeys. Like, he just goes to new towns. He just steals all the loot in the uh, in the uh, shops. Be kind of a uh, vigilante, if you think about it. He wants to be the very best, but he's also stealing everything. Okay, so I've just noticed, when I use my Ursaring and Sweet Scent, it pulls out a Pokemon. And Eevee can actually be attracted in a forest. Is that a Thunder Shard? What is that? A leaf stone shard. Oh my god, that's what we need. But yeah, Eevee can be attracted by using sweet scent. So that's actually really good. So let me just keep leveling him up anyway. We just need to make sure we keep sweet scent. So this is actually where you can find a um, a backpack. He sometimes gives them, I think. Whoa, what is that? Is that a coin? And you can get gym challenge, midnight star. These are cool. Okay, yeah. So I don't know how you get it though. I think you literally just have to hope he has one. So we were extremely lucky. Oh no, I've found some more trees. You know what? I can't say no to them. So I've, I've literally just got to take them. Okay, so I wasn't going to put this in, but I just want to put it in for people who say I may be cheating or spawning in the rare candies. But look, you can literally see I'm getting so many. I literally get up to 58. It's actually so overpowered. So we're currently in a giant tree tiger. And this is where Zekrom can spawn. Uh, he spawns at night, which we have a while yet. So I'm just going to wait a bit and just see if Zekrom spawns. If he does, then it's literally another Pokemon down, which is incredible. So we'll just wait, give it a chance, and if, if he spawns, he spawns. Okay, I waited all night. Uh, it did not spawn, so it's fine. We're just going to move on. If we find a Togekiss at the same time, I mean, that's a bonus. I know we can find a Froakie here, so we could get Greninja, but I don't really want that. I want to try and find a Birch Forest now. Then we can try and pull out the Eevee if we can use Sweet Scent. Okay, um, Entei has spawned. I just don't know where. 12 seconds later. Oh my god, I found it. Okay. That was a bit scary. I'm also a bit worried. I don't want to do like damage to it. Well, I want to damage it. I want to capture it. Let's just go with a hammer arm. This Ursa Ring is very useless, but I've only got it so that I can uh, lure out Eevees. It's also high level, so I guess I can tank some hits and then also deal out some damage. Which I don't mind. If I get one more hit on him, I can probably try and capture him. This, this is quite good. This is very fun. I mean, the only annoying thing is that a Rayquaza could have spawned instead of an Entei. I'm not complaining. A Legendary is a Legendary. So let's capture that. Hopefully we get it. A Fire or Ground. I think he might be Ground actually, not Fire. Oh my god. Okay, th there's, it's Hailing now and he's on 1.6. I genuinely might just have to leave battle and rejoin oh my god i tried to escape it wouldn't let me escape and then oh my god he was hurt by hail and then so was i i mean it's xp oh my god this i've killed two legendaries i've killed two legendaries what on earth is this is this a mega absol that was just chilling i mean i'm gonna absolutely um wipe you now from the state of this planet absol is such a cool pokemon as well i mean a mega absol could be pretty good dark type as well oh my god level 105 i did not expect that but let's see what we can do okay 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 so long story short i died uh, as usual so let me revive everyone and then i think we're gonna go again we also of course because we have so many of these um rare candies from the trees i'm literally just gonna spam charizard with some uh same for superior same for lucario maybe Ursa ring but we'll see and i think we should be set i think 85 uh, you know what let's go 90 for charizard why not okay so we've got a level 90 lucario 81 superior and a level 90 charizard a few moments later so my mic was buzzing so i'm just changing the voiceover for this but basically my lucario is able to tank a hit and he can actually deal out some damage so he's got it to half health 
I've already had to revive him once, but see, he can tank a hit, and then he takes the Absol down quite a bit. I know he's not going to survive, so again, we're basically just using sacrificial Pokemon. I'm pretty sure it was Zubat again. He's just a very good... He's a sidekick Pokemon, Zubat is, but we basically revive. I hoped that Absol's knockoff might miss, but it didn't. We use Charizard and Zubat to do the same thing, just revive Lucario. Essentially, we get down to whereby Lucario can tank his final hit and then deal the final blow to Absol. So we now have an Absolite. So if we can get an Absol, that will be amazing. We literally can mega evolve so many Pokemon so far. And this is looking really good. I just need to find an Absol from here, but we probably move on. Okay, I'm also going to give my superior one of these Carbos because he is slow. He has lowered defense. I mean, lowered speed and I wanted speed on him. Lucario. Oh my God, boosted speed. That's perfect. I don't even need to add anything more onto him. I think I will give Charizard. However, I've actually thrown out too many people. Let, oh my god. Bye Charizard. Uh, what? Okay, anyway, we'll give Charizard one just to give him some more speed, which is really good. Okay, these Swan Boats can be quite good. I think sometimes you can get, uh, yeah, you can get Master Ball loot on them. A PP Max, which is not bad. I guess we'll keep it. We can also, I think you can find Master Ball loot, but don't quote me on that. We're just going to fly away. Didn't really give anything too great. So I just want to find uh, a birch forest now. I just want some Eevees. Just give me some Eevees. Okay. I mean, we found another sand temple. So we might as well explore it. A relic vase, which I don't even think is that useful anymore. I mean, well, we can just take it anyway and see. Relic vase is only 10,000. It's a bit annoying, but I mean, it'll have to do. Okay. Relic statue. That's definitely the money one, I think. I think, anyway. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's go have a look. Look how cool this, this ocean is, by the way. It's like the Red Sea. It just stops in the middle and just changes color. That's that's actually really cool. Relic statue, 35k. Okay, so it, it really isn't that much anymore. Okay, these, like, new building towns, they're so cool. It's just... Wait, wait, wait hang on. Uh, a TCG shop here. I think these are the ones where you can grab a bag this is really cool what is this suit i know it's just oh it's a magma that, that that's a full team magma suit the gym sign does not belong to me oh my god here we go wait, wait, wait this is the full suit isn't it so aqua 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 i think what it does it when we have the full suit is i'm pretty sure it grants us uh, a breathing underwater i think i think pretty sure it does hello people do you give me the bag of Pokemons? No, you don't. Okay. Well, we're just gonna run away now. Okay, no idea what this... F oh. Oh, wait. Is this a boss? A level 90 B shop. It is a boss. So is this a gym tower? I don't know. When I took that out... Okay, well, I've been taken out again. It's, it's quite annoying. Earthswing's gonna absolutely get one shot. Okay, so this is a boss tower. Let's not talk about what just happened to me. Uh, I never want to do that again. Ah! Go away! All right, Master Ball loot. Okay, I've, I've literally just been trying to find so many Master Ball loots here. Uh, a life orb which boosts the power of moves by the cost of some HP. I don't really want that. Unless it was like someone tanky like Ursaring, but I'm not going to really use Ursaring. He's literally just there till I can find all the EVs that I need. Okay, well, the good thing I found another Dark Forest. Str uh, f well, funnily enough, this is Dark Forest Hills. Yep, Dark Forest Hills. Yeah, this is where Darkrai could spawn, but then he also has to spawn in a specific moon phase is the only annoying thing. It's like a uh, moon stage stays moon stage four I, I i genuinely don't know it's a bit of a weird one i've wanted dark ride for so long but i know i'm never gonna get one ow okay so we've got ursa ring here who i just have to change to sweet scent and boom a milsery we don't want that let's run so i'll see you guys in a bit hopefully once i've caught a quite a few more evs so we've found a routes not a ev but a routes so i mean god of war is a very cool option i threw an ultra war i meant to throw a level ball but it works uh god of war is a very cool option the only thing is i do have a superior so it's kind of pointless the good thing is there is this place right here i just need to find a bed sleep and we can literally just wait till we find evs Whilst waiting for Eevee, I came across this Quilladin, so I wanted to capture him, just because if we don't like Snivy, we can always keep a Chestnut instead. Now, these Eevees were not spawning, but as you guys just saw, there was Pikachus, there were even bosses like Mega Ordenites, and this is what happened. Okay, well, it's literally not hit me, and I've literally just been able to take it out. Its move have just been like status effects sort of ones, or just lowers my special or whatever. Uh, so I think that's a lot of XP. Two rare candies. I don't know what that is, I don't want it. 
Ghost Gym Zed Uptake, and Odinite. That's really good. A while later, using Ursa Ring's Sweet Scent, we finally got an Eevee. It took a long time to capture, but then, not long after, a Zacian spawns as I was in battle with a Sweet Scent Pokemon. It took me long to find it. It was like hidden under these trees. I was genuinely so surprised that we were able to get this Zacian because now it should hopefully make the gym battles a lot easier because he's such a good Pokemon to have as well. Now, after catching the Zacian, it still took a while, but the Eevee were slowly rolling in we finally caught a few more and then the most unexpected thing happened what is that oh my god it's venusaur if we find a bulbasaur in this well we haven't seen a bulbasaur spawn either i'm gonna change the goal to, which was evolve my starter which is snivy but uh, if i find a bulbasaur i'm gonna also say bulbasaur as well because they're grass type same exact thing so yeah we're gonna do that uh, can i take this out just with charizard okay he's a very tanky boy okay i, I used dragon breath because i wanted to try and paralyze it but it didn't i'm on seven uh he's on 6.5 I'm probably going to lose my um, Charizard here, but I have a plan. What if I throw out Pikachu and do I not have Quick Attack? Oh, no, that's bad. Well, I'm dead. Okay, who else could use some leveling? Ursaring, we don't really need to. I guess Ozation could get some levels. He doesn't have extreme speed, so I do need a move shooter for him. Okay, it's down. Uh, that's Venusaur. What is that? Venusaurite, ICMZ, XP Candy Large. Wow, so that's, uh, that's uh, I like that's really good. Is that another Pikachu? What The Pikachu count must be like 10. The amount I've seen. Of course, I haven't shown you guys all of them. It'll just get a bit boring and repetitive. Oh my gosh. What That was like amazing timing. Uh, so we will go with Ursaring. And then I think we can just throw level balls. We got it. Okay. Three, six, two left. Oh my gosh. Eventually, I was able to find both using Sweet Scent, which is so overpowered. If you ever want to do this, make sure you have a Pokemon that knows Sweet Scent. So now that we have the eight Eevees, this is what you need to evolve each one into the different evolution. Now another water stone you can find underwater, which is going to be easy to find. We have a leaf stone, a fire stone we can get from magmars or magmortars from killing them basically in the desert. So we need to go do that. It's going to take a very long time. So searching for the evolution stones, I started with the thunderstone and you can just use Pikachu's move thunderbolt, shoot it at the ground. We nearly took out my Pikachu, but it's fine. We got all of those and we made a thunderstone. Then the ice stone, some alone and Pokemon can drop it when you defeat them, but that was taking way too long. So we moved on and found a few more rare candy trees, which are always very useful. And then a Swanner Boat. When I noticed this shard underwater, and I didn't know if it was a water stone for sure, but then once I dug it up, I found out that it was. So I just literally went around the whole Swanner Boat and we found so many. Now, usually it's just fossils underwater, I think. But when you have this gravel area, which is not too deep, I think that's where you find water stone shards. So if you guys are playing on your own and you can't find any, it's because the water can't be too deep. I think that's what it is. So after further research, I found out under raid dens, you can actually find ice stone shard blocks. I had no idea that was a thing, but apparently it is. So I just spent the next few hours finding new raid dens in different snow areas and just digging beneath them and getting all these ice stone shards. I also got some obsidian so we can go to the nether to get fire stone shards, but then continued with the raid dens for the ice stone shards. And they were surprisingly not that difficult to find. Like as long as you find one snow area, like what snowy tundra you can hopefully find a few raid dens and you should be able to get them all and now we have four the firestone actually proved to be the trickiest and i read that in raid dens in the nether they can actually spawn under it so similar to the ice stone shard so that's what we did but when i went in there it did not look like there were any firestone shards or raid dens i searched around for a bit but i didn't want to get lost because i didn't have enough obsidian anyway so we ended up just leaving the nether and i then came across this master ball loot which gave me an xp all but that's just going to make everything so so much easier to level up it was taking too long to find out what to do so i wanted to go back to the nether just to give it more exploration and then i found this shiny for lynx in the distance and that's the first shiny of the episode basically it's not the greatest but it's it's still something at least now the nether again was kind of useless there was literally no raid dens i thought i was onto something here it was like some blue mystical land. I don't know what that is. If you guys know what that is, let me know in the comments because I was clueless. I ended up just leaving the nether and then just exploring the world again because I was so confused how to get this Flareon. I just wanted a Mesa. I came across this, but I don't know what that was. It was like, I think it was a fairy gym. I didn't really go into it, but it, was, it looked like some cool uh, design. I then came along these ravines and I know that sometimes Firestone Shards spawn 
around lava. This one we didn't have any luck so we moved on and I found another ravine. Now don't ask me why I did this considering my track record but I decided to just jump the whole way down and then I look up there's firestone shards like you couldn't make it up. So all I did was mine all the ones that I could find in this area. I think we must have got about four. I think it was four, maybe more. And essentially, the oh, it was actually more. It was like five, six. The main way to just get them is to go around lava pools. I continued on in the cave. There was a few more. We got to seven. But that was it. The cave ended. I had to find another ravine system, which actually led down into some further caves. Now, blocking this lava off was one of the most clutch things I ever did, because at the bottom of it, we had another firestone shard and then further on into the cave we found the final firestone shard so we could get our fifth evolution stone we're actually so close to completing this goal so now that i had all of the acquired evolution stones i started with flareon we then moved on to glaceon and they look so good some of them are massive some of them are tiny then we moved on to a vaporeon and wait till you see the jolteon all right i thought jolteon would have been like a very massive Pokemon, a big hitter again, but he wasn't. Leafeon, I think this is Leafeon, yes it is. This was a very cool design, I actually like Leafeon's quite a lot. And then, look, I didn't realise that Eevee was so small. Like, the Jolteon's tiny. Okay, so for Sylveon, we have to level it up in a Sunflower Plains, which I've found, and he has to know a Fairy-type move. And he also needs high happiness, basically. And this one has a Fairy-type move, so I'm just gonna put that into my team and give all these rare candies to Eevee. It still didn't evolve, but we can do that at a later date. Now, I continued looking for ways to get levels, and we came across a Celebi Shrine. Now, I really want a Celebi, so let's see if we get one in the future episodes. And these bolts are OP. We've got an Icicle Plate, and a different Different boat gave me a rose incense which basically boosts grass type moves and i decided to try and level up eevee some more we should fight some trainers it's okay but it is also a very very long process so the best thing i did was to continue my adventure to find these rare candy trees and i'm gonna say right now anytime you guys see rare candies in my inventory i did not cheat i'm not a cheater you guys know that so anytime i have rare candies it's because i've been grinding to try and find these rare candy trees okay so that's what we did i was then able to find a flower forest because sylveon actually evolves in a flower forest or sunflower plains and we had enough so that it could evolve and you know what i've actually never paid too much attention to how sylveon looks or even used it much and it's actually pretty cool i really like the pokemon so to get an umbreon we have to increase his happiness during the night time and for espion we have to increase happiness during the daytime so we can just do loads of raids and probably try and find some more rare candies so of course we have a hundred day limit and i wanted to do this as legit as possible so obviously i want to try and use less rare candies so we went to these like little village raids and they were okay the max you can get is a level 50 and then the lowest is level 30 these were level 50 40s around there and they were okay they weren't giving too much xp but i made sure to just keep eevee in my party so he gets max xp but they were just not that great like he's he's went from level 10 to level 14 in one fight it just wasn't that great even these three star raids they gave an xp candy m he he leveled up once and he's level 28 this was another three star but it gave us a rare candy and xp candy large but once again the best way to level up eevees is to just use rare candies okay let's see if i can evolve the eevee with this xp candy large now please oh my god not yet okay so we have a few more rare candies which we can use on it which is fine i just do oh my god we got so many okay let's use these come on eevee all right please evolve into an espion now yes i think it's happening I'm pretty sure it's happening. Okay, I've used so many, but we have another like 60. Please be an Espeon. If it's not an Espeon, I'm gonna cry because I've tried so hard and finding these Eevees has been so difficult. So please, is it? It's an Espeon. Yes, we one. We got one left, and it's Umbreon. Oh my God, this is amazing. Okay, the best thing is, I think it is turning night now. Yes, it is. Uh, I have 57, so we have all of these here. We literally have one, two. We have all of them. So we have all of them here. Oh, this looks so cool, the whole, like, evolution. Uh, we can put everyone else back into our team. So this one, I think, because he's level fi uh, 15, all I have to do is just feed him rare candies when it's night. And Oh, don't, mi oh, don't mind if I do. These trees are so good. And we're back up to 61. Okay, this is cool. Oh my god, there's two, there's two more as well. Okay, so we should be able to complete this, like, right now. As soon as I've got these, and we just give it all to this uh, Eevee. It should give us an Umbreon. Okay, so I just wanted to move areas, just in case I was next to, like, an Ice Rock, because I don't want another Glaceon. And we're just going to give Eevee all of these, and hopefully it's an Umbreon. Oh my god, I think it's happening. Okay, where is it? I think 
it's it's happening. I think we should have an Umbreon. I think. And this is not cheating, okay? These rare candies are in the game. So if anyone wants to fight me, like I said, fight me in the comments, please. If this is an Umbreon, it's an Umbreon. It is, I think. Oh, it looks so cool as well. I think I want to put it into my party because that looks so cool. Okay, so we are now done. We, we've literally done... We've beaten a Mega and we've captured all the evolutions. And that took so long, but it was, it was actually fun. Just because I now have all of these like amazing evolutions. It's amazing. Oh my God. So I, I like Sylveon. I've never used Espeon and I've never used Umbreon. I'm pretty sure I've used these at least once. I kind of want Umbreon. We'll have to decide later on, but I think I'll just keep Umbreon in my party for now. So what we're going to do now is wait for a Rayquaza because I know Rayquaza and Zekrom are the two legendaries that I need. They're the major ones that we need. Of course, we can capture as many as we want, but I definitely want those two to complete a goal. And I'm pretty sure at the same time, a Lucario Mega Boss can spawn in these like wooded trees. So if it does, it does. And in the same way, I'm pretty sure a Mega Charizard spawns here sometimes. So it's it can be like a win-win-win, a triple win. But I highly doubt we're going to get all three just happening in one game. If we do, that's amazing. But I just want the Rayquaza. So at this point, I wasn't recording. So I had to quickly record and then chase this Rayquaza. But basically, it takes so much storage recording these 100 days because it's 30 hours of footage. And this is where the panic sets in because I was already had to set that up. And then it was hard to like catch up to him because you can't hover. And then 26 turns in, he breaks free and uses struggle to take recoil damage. And you can see I'm not even pressing next on the screen. I'm in that much shock. Like I finally had one of the rarest Pokemon spawn on me and that happens. Like I genuinely couldn't believe it. So I was about to head on an adventure to just find desert so that we can just find Master Ball loots and hopefully get a Master Ball. So that does not happen again. But we came across this Mega Ampharos boss. So we're going to take that out just because we're so frustrated. Uh, well, the problem is it actually one shot every single one of my Pokemon as you guys can see here uh, I tried my hardest it even took out Charizard so I mean I guess that's just not a thing that's happening today whilst looking for deserts I came across a giant tree tiger and that's where Zekrom spawned so I gave it a bit of time but nothing happened so we move on to the desert I've just made it a mission to find as many desert temples as possible well these little desert temples just so we can find master ball loot and hope to get a master ball that's a life orb I don't want that we're only finding master ball loot from now on so I'm gonna see you guys once I've found at least one master ball let's say I'm pretty sure Sure, I've just found a Zapdo shrine. This is a Zapdo shrine, right? You find them on the edge of savannas. It is. Look, that's a Zapdo shrine. I mean, we don't have uh, an orb, which I don't even remember where you can get them from. This is a spoiler. So if you guys haven't seen my previous videos, then go watch them. I'm pretty sure we found them in the ultra desert, just fighting the different... Ra oh, XP share. Okay. Well, that would have been used for like a few hours ago. Now, one of the deserts had a desert temple and inside you can actually find something to basically get a Celebi, which is a GS ball. And I was so happy. And then we found a mass like it took so long I couldn't believe how long it took like I'm pretty sure I found them so much quicker in the previous hundred days but this one took ages and then we went into a another one in a different desert and we pull a second one like how I'm so happy I just stuck around to find the last few little temples or the little like uh, areas of um, Master Ball loot because I just got us another Master Ball, which is incredible. So we're going to check what this is. I don't think anything useful is going to be in. Okay, it was very pointless. It's like a team rocket machine. Okay, so I've actually found a giant tree tiger. So what I'm going to do is just wait here for a Zekrom because I think it's... Is it going to be night in a minute? I think it is going to be night in a minute. So we can just wait. Oh my god. Okay, that's another shiny. Oh, Wait, it's a legendary. Okay, I thought it was a shiny, but uh, ah, Kakuna, man, you can. Why you do that? All right, let's take this out. Oh wait, I don't even know if we can. Oh, oh okay, I can definitely. I n nearly one shot it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well it's finished. What is it gonna give me? It's not a mega. It's just a shiny. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? What on earth? Uh, best decision I've ever made in my life. Best decision I've ever made in my life. I saw. Go away. I don't want you. I. I literally saw it from up in the tree, right? And I was like, I don't want a shiny like bit plug, whatever it is. And then we go for it, and and it it gives us another master ball. I have three. But you know what? If you guys have have made it this far into the video, comment. Joshi has the best comeback of all time. Now, many nights later, Zekrom literally spawns on me. I don't know where, but it's whilst I was spinning around a tree. And the thing is, I could not find him. It took me so long. You don't understand. It was literally daylight. I can't find him. 
Wait, is that him? Oh my god. It's literally day now. It's literally day. I can't believe I nearly missed Zekrom. Oh my god. This is amazing. Now, I want to say to you guys, the main reason I wanted Zekrom is because of the tag team card he has with Pikachu. And I have it graded in a 10, and it's incredible. Oh my god, we got it. I thought I was I, I was genuinely about to leave. I was about to rage. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. He's a dragon electric. Wait, that's so good. I don't even need Umbreon. Oh my god. Oh my god, and he flies. And he's so much easier to see things. Okay, next is Rayquaza. So, I guess we find Extreme Hills. And we just wait there. If we could find a... Um, an, uh, the Celebrity Shrine on the way, that would also be brilliant. So, let's try and do that. I didn't even check his moves. He has Thunder Fang. He has Crunch, Thunderbolt, and Hyper Voice. They seem like pretty good moves for him to have. I don't actually know anything about him. That seems like a very good one, though. Because I feel like that's what you would want. I think we've just clutched up there. Wait, a shaman has spawned in a sunflower plains. Where? This is the sunflower plains. Is that... Wait, huh? Why was that there and why is it so small? Is shaman a good Pokemon? I, I genuinely don't know if I even like shaman as a Pokemon. Uh, I don't have any moves to do damage, actually. Let me change to Zacian. So I've just done some research and I found out he has two forms and you change it by getting a, f like a certain type of flower and that will change it into like the four-legged creature, the like little, little puppy looking one, which is quite cool. I just don't know how good shaman is i don't remember anything about it i think it's pretty cool well we caught that so quick okay so we can find the flower in flower forests so whilst well we can find another extreme hills we'll just try and find a flower forest and then see what its uh, other form looks like that'd be pretty cool so i was about to fly away as no rayquaza spawned for a while and then an entei pops up out of nowhere like i don't understand my luck it's sometimes really good but sometimes really bad okay i'm 48 turns into this fight and it's really annoying me. So I'm just going to use Ursa Ring. I've put him to sleep. And then I have the move Snore. So we're going to use Snore and hope that it does not take it out. But it does a bit of damage. It, it did it to 8, which is perfect. So many, many minutes later, we're on turn 56. He uses Roar and forces me out. So I go again for a battle. Again, he uses Roar and forces me out. So I had enough. Okay, you know what? I'm just taking this Entei out. Because this has to be like 100 turns. I know on the bottom it says turn 13. It's because he's used Roar to get out of it when it was on like 60 turns. And then I just can't be bothered because I did it multiple times. It's fine. I don't want him anyway. So, I was waiting for a Rayquaza to spawn. And then in the distance, there is a Lucario. I think it's a Mega. This is what literally what we asked for so long ago. Oh my, I, I, this is why I love waiting in Extreme Hills. Because you get two Legends. You get Entei and Rayquaza. Granted, I did take out the Entei. I did not want it. It gave me so much stress. But then you also get Megas like Lucario and Charizard. Like, how can you not like Extreme Hills? Uh, please, please. <gasps> Focus Sash is so good. Focus Sash is so good. Oh my god, I love that. I love that. Okay, uh, I don't think I've got anything that's going to like take it out now. Now, so wait okay 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 what i'm gonna have to do is hpp revive charizard okay so charizard is revived we're gonna use a hyper potion on charizard Ursa Ring won't be able to tank this if he does then i would be amazed but uh now i think i'm fine to literally just throw a flamethrower i can tank one hit Yes, I can. And we take it out. We have Lucario Knight. We literally have a Mega. So we just need uh, a Bulbasaur. And then we're set. So we have that, XP Candy Large, and Ferium. Okay, this is really good. So literally, we have Ordenite. We have Absolite. We have Lucario Knight, which I'm keeping right now. Venusaurite, which we need to get a Bulbasaur for. And Beedrillite. After such a high of beating a Mega Lucario, I was hopeful that we would finally get Rayquaza. And in this moment, it's an Entei that spawns. Not a Rayquaza, which it could have been. It's another Entei. Okay, Entei is the worst Pokemon to ever just exist. I hate him. I never... I, if I see him, I'm never capturing him again. It's 33 turns. I've run out of resources, appropriate resources to capture him. So we're just going to take him out. And now I need to go heal everyone at a Pokemon Center. Uh, it takes so long. And that's so annoying because it literally could have been a Rayquaza or Entei. And I think a few minutes later, it would have just been Rayquaza because of the time. It's when the sun is just setting and the moon is just rising. It's annoying, but it's fine. We will get this Rayquaza. With day 100 
creeping up on us. We finally had a Rayquaza spawn on us. And I've spent so long on this hill. But this is the scary part because I never know where they are. And wait till you guys hear my reaction. I was so happy because of how long I've spent trying to get this. Master Ball. Oh my god, I was just waiting there for so long. It's been so many hours. Oh, I can't believe that we've caught a Rayquaza. There's no way. This actually... I, I just threw a Master Ball. I still don't believe it. I genuinely don't believe that just happened. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I've landed back on the mountain and look, look at how good this video has been. Like, I can't believe it. We've caught a shiny. We, I just caught the Chimchar. We have a Pikachu to match with the Zekrom because obviously the tag team duo. Rayquaza. Oh my god. He's a dragon flying and you know his dragon dance, hyper voice, rest and fly. I don't think his moves are the greatest setup, but I mean, wow. Look at this team. If I take out Ursa Ring, we have Rayquaza. Is he mega? Because he usually mega evolves, so he might be a mega. Lucario. Then we have Zacian. We have Serperia, Zekrom, and Charizard. I'm just, I just need to get a Bulbasaur, and then we've got a Mega Venusaur as well. Oh my god. Using Rayquaza, I was able to find a forest. So we now just have to wait for a Bulbasaur to spawn, or we can go into an Ultra Space Hole if we find one, because I know that they spawn quite a lot in those areas, so we'll just see if one pops up, then we can just head into it. I gave Rayquaza the remaining rare candy, so he can be max level and also learn Outrage, and then let Zekrom have the remaining few until we can get a few more, or just level him up normally. Whilst waiting for Bulbasaur, I was able to find another Venusaur Mega Boss, which was very easy to take out. And then the next few moments in this forest were incredible. I don't know what's happened towards the end of videos, but my luck is so good. So I'm just spamming my head off trees. There's a Bulbasaur. Now he did take a few times to capture. I think it was like three turns, but we finally got him in the end. And then there's Asian spawns. Like how many legendaries does this game want to give me? But this time we weren't going to capture it. We weren't even going to try. We just wanted levels for Bulbasaur. And he actually went to level 16 we gave him poison powder and then we also gave him sleep powder because it was good and then he started to evolve into his second form which of course is going to be an ivysaur so we're one step closer to getting a venusaur and mega evolving him so the extra large rare candy i got from venusaur i gave to ivysaur and he basically grew all the way to level 36 i'm pretty sure and we also gave him seed bomb so that basically kick-started his evolution from ivysaur into venusaur which basically means we now have a Mega Venusaur, meaning we've completed our goal of Mega Evolving our starter, although we did change it, it's fine. Okay, so as we're coming to the end of the 100 days, I want to get every one of my Pokemon to level 100 so that we can try the final challenge, which is to beat a gym. So I'm trying to find those little villages with the little mini battles, because they're always like level 50s at least, or level 40, so they give good levels. It's going to take a while though, because we have Venusaur at level 40, but I'll see you guys once we finished. As I'm trying to to find the rare candy trees i actually spot this shrine and i'm pretty sure it's a celebi shrine so there's only one thing to do and that's to capture it with the gs ball in hand i right clicked the shrine and celebi appeared all that was left to do was use a master ball on it and capture it which we did okay i presume this is the ice gym so we're gonna try and take that on but there is also some more trees so i want to collect a lot of the rare candy so we can level up our team so essentially there's trees there there's trees here there's all those trees in that direction there's even some farther we've just collected some from over there we should be able to actually get everyone to level 100 so i'm giving venusaur all the rare candies he needs to get to level 100 and he's also got solar beam now which is really good i wanted to use celebi but he's also grass type so i want to bring back zation who is incredible lucario is gonna get some levels and so is zekrom i'm also giving zation phytinium Z so he can use zed moves when we go into battles so i climb the stairs looking like a very drunk man because i could not do it for some reason and we find the first challenge he had a mr mime so i went straight with charizard i hit a flamethrower on the mr mime hoping he would one hit him but he didn't and he was actually quicker than me we took him down quite a bit but he also took us down now this is where i messed up i should have just swapped out or something but instead i was frozen dry tried to do a move it didn't work and eventually i fainted so i then threw out zekrom who I thought would be able to do a lot of damage, but he decided to switch out to Avalog. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. And it did next to nothing, like absolutely nothing. So in this moment, I thought it was finished for me. I genuinely thought it was over. I hit an outrage, it did a bit of damage, but essentially my Zekrom was taken out as well. I then threw out Lucario and mega evolved him to use Aura Sphere. And Lucario is so good. Took out the Avalog and then we had Pyloswine. So I threw an Aura Sphere at it 
and we nearly killed it. It was actually really good, but sadly Lucario then fainted. Zacian then came through to just clean up with his Z move, all out pummeling. He got rid of the Pylo Swine and then came in the Jinx. Now I was a bit worried, but Zacian tanked the first hit and then he just one shot Jinx like it was like nothing. It was amazing. Now we had Glalie. I didn't understand this, so I hit him, which was really good. He's on 10%. So I hit him first and then I tank his second hit. And then he used a move before me. It was Dark Portal. Does that move first? I don't actually know. So I'm confused. Rayquaza didn't do great. He used Fly and actually got rid of the Glalie. And then in the end, we had to use very weird plays. I had to just keep reviving many Pokemon. Lucario was able to get rid of Mr. Mime. And for Crabominable, it was the same thing. I had to do many different revives. Lucario was the one to take him out. So Lucario was very good. The second gym challenger started with Aurorus. And we threw out Venusaur straight away with Sleep Powder. And it worked perfectly. We then used a Mega Evolved Petal Blizzard move. Which did next to nothing. And I was so shocked. He then decided to freeze a solid. And we couldn't do anything. Venusaur was taken out. And we threw out Lucario. Who he then swapped to Mr. Rhyme. We had to then swap to Zekrom, who actually did a lot of damage to the Mr. Rhyme. He nearly killed him with one hit. He was on 37%, but then he had, like, leftovers or something. His ice body restored his health. I didn't even know that was a thing. But Zekrom made quick work of him. Slowly, we bought Venusaur back using revives to take out Backscalibur, and he tanked a hit and was able to put him to sleep. He withdrew Backscalibur and threw out Lapras, so we threw out Lucario, who was able to basically take out Lapras. He's taking a few hits, and he's tanking, and then I think it took back about three aura spheres but we finally got rid of the lapras lucario then went up against octazole and did a lot of damage but sadly couldn't tank the first hit but we then threw out zacian who made quick work of the octazolt and then did a lot of damage to the deli bird sadly it wasn't a one hit because then deli bird decided to use destiny bond and actually kill my zacian my venusaur missed its one chance at sleep powder and sadly fainted. Charizard tried his best, but also did not do enough damage and also fainted. I was able to use Rayquaza to revive Zacian and the Aurorus was missing his blizzard attack. Eventually he pulled him back and threw out Backscalibur who was asleep, which let Rayquaza absolutely one shot it. We then threw out Lucario, who we had just revived as well, who was able to take out Octazolt, but also fainted himself. Zacian made quick work of the Aurorus and we actually did the second battle. So I thought this was the final battle, but we started with Venusaur again. Okay, so Aurorus is asleep. I'm now Mega Venusaur, so we're gonna try a Petal Blizzard. He's fallen asleep again, which is perfect. Oh my god, okay, so he stayed asleep, thankfully, so we were actually able to take him out which is perfect Venusaur's fainted now we throw out Charizard and we hit a flamethrower hopefully this hits first oh, I sent out Lapras now we swap to Zacian hopefully he tanks hits anyway he does that was really good now I hope I can hit first then I'm literally gonna smack him with a sacred sword Oh my god, 9.2, are you mad? That's annoying. Okay, we'll use Lucario and we will hit an Aura Sphere. Okay, that's perfect. Now we'll try an Aura Sphere on Bear Tick. I should be faster. Yeah, it's perfect, but I think I might get one hit. Yeah, of course. We need Charizard to deal some big damage here, please. Yes, okay, one hit. Charizard, please take this Cryogon out. Oh no. Okay, I've I've exhausted all resources. The only thing I can do is try a close combat, maybe. Let's try a close combat. I have to one hit or it's over. And I think he's going to hit me and I'm dead. Yep. Oh, that's it. So I had to just keep reviving and it wouldn't work. He kept throwing out new Pokemon and they were too strong, basically. What? Wait, he's not even... I thought he was the last boss. Okay, that's the boss right there. You know what? Considering I did really well to get to him i don't mind honestly that was really fun and look at the team we built so considering this was our first 100 days back we did really well like, i'm really happy with this team look how good this team is we have so many legends plus the whole team of evolutions like that's incredible it was just time consuming to get these guys all to level 100 until we were able to find the rare candies but by then it was late and we literally just had to get the gym done or attempt the gym otherwise we literally would have just run out of time but if you guys want to see a part two let me know leave a like and let me know down in the comments below so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you on the next video goodbye